and today we're going to be doing the Pythagoras' Theorem. So Pythagoras' Theorem I call the foundation of maths. Even if you don't do maths or if you haven't taken maths, you still know about the Pythagoras' Theorem. It's really simple and it's really easy. Two things that you don't really hear in maths and it's all to do with triangles. Don't worry, it's nothing to do with the Illuminati though. So the Pythagoras' Theorem is all to do with right angle triangles. Right angle triangle is just a triangle that has a 90 degree angle, which is usually expressed by the square symbol here. So this would be our 90 degree angle. It's usually labelled in the same format, having sides labelled A, B and C. C is always the longest side and is usually called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is usually opposite the right angle. And the basic equation for Pythagoras' theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Meaning that the length of A squared plus the length of B squared equals the length of C squared. We usually use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of an unknown side of a right angle, but further on in maths you can use the basic principles for Pythagoras' theorem to find the angles as well. Okay, so looking at our first example, we need to find the length of C. Now we know automatically that this is a right angle triangle due to the square side in a corner, so we can use the Pythagoras' theorem on this. Pythagoras' theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It doesn't really matter which side is the a or the b, but we always must remember that the c has to be the longest side. What we basically do is we do 4 squared plus 10 squared equals c squared. We 16 plus 100, which is 116, equals c squared. A lot of people forget to do this and just leave the answer like this, but we actually do need to square root both sides to get C. So 116 square rooted would be 10.7, and that would be our final answer. <laughs> and remember to write whatever units they give you for that question. So for the next example, we need to find the length of side X. And since this is again a right angle triangle, we would use the Pythagoras' theorem. Well, we already know length C, since C is always the longest. So we would put A as 10 squared plus B squared, which we don't know, equals 15 squared. Now we just simply rearrange the formula to put B as the subject which we would get b squared equals 15 squared minus 10 squared. So 15 squared is 225, 10 squared is 100. So it's 225 minus 100, which would just equal 125. And now if we just square root 125, we get 11.2. This would be our final answer. Hopefully this made it a lot easier. Thanks for watching. Bye.